Scientific lab equipment. Triple beam balance to measure mass, weight of substances or objects accurately. Graduated cylinder, graduate, to measure volume of liquids accurately. SI ruler, metric is slang, to measure the length of solid objects accurately. SI thermometer, to measure temperature accurately. Magnifying glass, hand lens, to make objects appear larger than they are. Bunsen burner, to heat substances with a flame. Hot plate, to heat substances using electricity, not a flame. Ring stand with clamp and ring to hold containers away from a heat source such as fire during an experiment. Test tube, to hold liquids and chemicals during experiments and investigations. Test tube holder, to hold test tubes over heat or away from your body. Medicine dropper, eye dropper, to drop small amount of liquids. Forceps, to pick up small items that you should not touch. Microscope, to view specimens that are too small to see with the naked eye. Slide, to hold a specimen sample for viewing through a microscope. Cover slip, to cover a specimen or a sample on a slide. Early Meyer flask, to hold liquids, not used to measure accurately. Florence flask, used to hold liquids, not used to measure accurately. Beaker, to hold, pour, or estimate liquids, not used to measure substances accurately. Funnel, to pour liquids from one container to another without spilling anything. Stirring rod, to mix chemicals and hot liquids together like a spoon. Tongs, to pick up large objects that you should not touch. For example, hot containers, flasks of acids, etc. Safety goggles, to protect eyes against burns or cuts. Litmus paper, to determine whether a liquid is an acid or a base. Petri dish to grow bacteria and other tiny living things. Test tube brush to clean the insides of test tubes after investigation. Test tube rack to hold test tubes during an investigation. After cleaning test tubes can be used upside down to dry. Congratulations! Now that you've learned the names and uses of these pieces of lab equipment, you are almost ready to work in the laboratory.